Silvio. We've been looking for you. Hey, I'm filling out my application for the internship, and I'm putting you both down as references with respectable professions. Bullethead, you's a doctor. Aisha, you a Bulls cheerleader. <laughs> Forget that. Romeo, after you said you didn't have any money for your suit, me and Bullethead, we came up with a plan. What? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of just waiting until my dad went to sleep and going through his wallet. <laughs> Romeo, I got one word for you, my brother. Porn shop. <laughs> you can pawn my Charlie's Angels lunchbox. It's all beat up. I tried to scratch the T-shirt off Kate Jackson. What else you got? Well, I have some celebrity memorabilia. This is a signed lobster bib from Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and um, this is one of Michael Jordan's balls. All right, look, I appreciate what y'all are doing, but I don't think this is enough to get me a suit. Well, if we just had something really valuable, we could pawn. Why don't we pawn one of these horns? Uh-uh! We can't pawn them. They belong to the school. Why not? We only need one. Nobody is gonna miss it. After I get my money, I'll get it back. Romeo. Let's roll, let's roll. This is just like Mission Impossible. Except I know what's going on. <laughs> Booker T. Washington, hi. Will I hold for Teddy Riley? Certainly. I'm on hold for Teddy Riley. Here, take the phone. I gotta put on my face. Davina, <laughs> why don't you go and get Mr. Hightower? Oh. Hello? Uh, this is Regina Greer. Mr. Hightower's gonna be right here. But I must say, I just have such respect for you and your music and just for you being such a positive role model for our youth today. And I like the way you work it. <laughs> no diggity, no doubt. <laughs> Get off the phone. Get away from the phone. Get back, move. Hey, Teddy Steve. Yeah. I'm good, man. Yeah. Can I be there in an hour? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, anything for you, Ted. Okay, brother. Yeah, all right. Take care of yourself. I'll see you. Hightower is back! I'm back, back, back! But well, hey, 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 look here, girl. You know, no matter how large I get, There'll always be room for you in my jacuzzi. <laughs> that take over me, too? Yeah, if you can get past the Rottweiler and the armed guards. <laughs> Yo, hey, 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 Mr. Hightower. Got a new suit for my interview, so, uh, got any last advice for a brother? Try to speak as little as possible. <laughs> OK, I'm out of here. All right, y'all. Good luck, y'all. Good luck, Man, I really hope he gets it. That's nice, Bullethead. Yeah, you know. So do I. Oh, Lord, she's gone! What's wrong, Mr. Hightower? My sex. I can't find my sex. I left her right here on the stand. Well, Mr. Hightower, don't worry. I'm sure your sex will turn up sooner or later. I don't have sooner or later. I got the first audition I've had in years, and I don't have my sex. This is happening. I really don't, man. Upstairs, they got a room full of expensive computers, and somebody steals my sax. I'm sure your sax will turn up. Yeah, it's gonna be back tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, what you know about my sax? Well, your saxophone is a wind instrument. And Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, we really didn't know it was your sax. The truth is, Romeo pawned it with some other stuff for a suit for his interview. You stole my sax? Can't she just use another one? Boy, you don't understand. The relationship between a musician and his instrument is sacred. But, Mr. Hightower, you're so talented. I mean, you can make anything sound good. <laughs> Look here, girl. We are way past sucking up here. <laughs> Guess I just have to use this one. Boy, let me tell you something. If I didn't have to use this thing in an hour, I'd beat you down with it. <laughs> and there ain't a jury in this country that would convict me. <laughs>